use Newton's method to approximate a root to f of x is equal to x to the seventh plus 3x to the third plus 18, accurate to five decimal places. Choose your own initial estimate in the interval from negative 3 to negative 1. And then answer this question, what is the most number of iterations required? Well, the first step in what we're going to do to solve this problem is to find our derivative. So let's do that first. f prime of x is equal to, we're going to use the power rule for each of these terms. So we have 7x to the 6th plus 9x squared, and the derivative of any constant, such as 18, is 0. So there's no third term. All right, and then Newton's method states that x with n plus 1 in subscript is equal to xn in subscript minus f of x with n in subscript over f prime of x with n in subscript. So in order to figure out what our first x value will be within this interval, why don't we graph it? So if we graph it, we're approximating our x-intercept. Well, if we graph this function, the x-intercept falls between negative 2 and negative 1. So let's say negative one and a half as our initial x value. So if we substitute negative one and a half in for our first x value, we would have negative one and a half minus, and then in parentheses, negative one and a half raised to the seventh power plus three we got to get out of the exponent plus three negative one and a half raised to the third power And then plus 18, all divided by, we're going to have 7 times negative 1 and a half raised to the sixth power, get out of the exponent, plus 9, negative 1 and a half raised to the second power, and then get out of the exponent, close the parenthesis. Okay, we get negative one and four tenths and the rest of this decimal. And now we have to do the same process, but use answer. So we have our answer minus in parentheses, our answer raised to the seventh, plus three times our answer raised to the third plus 18 divided by, open the parentheses for the denominator, seven, our answer raised to the sixth power plus nine times our answer raised to the second power and close parenthesis equals, okay. If we do that again, okay, it's still getting accurate. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. This matches. So we went through one, two, three, four. We went through four of these but this question is asking for what's the most number of iterations. The most number. If it was looking for the least, we would have our answer. But because it's looking for the most, let's actually try this process again 
but instead of using the graph to give us our first value, let's use one of our endpoints. Let's try using negative three. So we'll do negative three minus, open the parenthesis, you have negative three being raised to the seventh plus three times negative three raised to the third plus 18. And then we're going to divide that by seven times negative three raised to the sixth plus nine times negative three raised to the second power and close that parenthesis. Okay, now we have to go through that answer. So we have the answer minus answer raised to the seventh plus three times the answer raised to the third power plus 18 divided by seven times the answer raised to the sixth power plus nine times the answer raised to the second power close parenthesis. Okay, now we can just keep pressing enter each time. Still not very accurate yet. Okay, now we're getting a little bit better. Okay, one, two, three only match. One, two, three, four, five match in this one. All right, so we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It was nine iterations because we started here. So we're at nine iterations for the most number required or answer choice B.